Today we have a 1992 FJ80 Land Cruiser. Currently it still has the stock 3F petrol motor and manual transmission. We will be replacing that with an L98 6 litre and 6L80 automatic transmission. But before we do that, we have to strip this motor down and get it out. Now we have this motor stripped down and almost ready to come out, we just need to remove the gearbox to make life a little bit easier. Now we have the engine out, we need to cut the stock engine mounts off the chassis rails. I also need to relocate these brake lines. And getting rid of these fuel lines and power steering hoses. This is the transfer case kit you get from Mark's adapters to adapt the 6L80 to the HF2A transfer case. I've slotted the cross member 25mm to move the engine assembly forward to clear the firewall. I've fitted the Marks Adapters engine mount kit to an empty engine block. I'm using this rather than the full engine because it makes it easier to fabricate the engine mounts. I've also bolted up an empty 6L80 to the original manual transfer case.
I've gone ahead and cut the engine mounts off the chassis rails and now it's time to fit the empty engine in box. Now I've got the engine in position and level, I need to fabricate some brackets from the chassis rails up to the rubber engine mounts. Now the brackets are finished and welded to the backing plates, I need to bolt them up to the rubber engine mounts and clamp them to the chassis rails. With both brackets now in place and clamped to the chassis rails, I've just tacked them in for now so I can remove the engine to make it easier for the final weld. And that's a job for Tom at Long Tom Fabrication.
This is the L98 that I'll be using, but I need to remove the sump, engine mounts and a few of the accessories. With all that removed, I fitted the Mark sump and engine mounts to the new engine and it's ready to go in, but first we'll put the gearbox in. With the engine now bolted up to the gearbox and on the mounts, this concludes part one of the video. There's still plenty more to do, but we'll pick that up in part two. And once again, thanks for watching.